Hey everybody, welcome to today's video in Bee Swarm Simulator uh, Macro World. We're going to be going over, right, the bag fill, bag check, pollen bar full, uh, whatever you want to call it today and day, okay? Everybody, I know everybody has a different name for it, um, but usually in the macro world, we just call it bag check, okay? So what is bag check? When you're uh backpack gets full right you'll be all all green from collecting honey or in this bar up here the pollen bar is full and it's a nice bright red okay and we're going to show you how in the macro um how that all works so as i'm preparing prepping so that way i could get that bar nice and red okay so there's two types of macros that we're going to be going over real quick um, and I'm going to show you the two types. First, we're going to go over the if pixel equals a certain color. Okay. And the other one we're going to go over is a if image. Okay. So let's go over if statements, for example. Um, if means there's a condition. Okay. Um, in this case, when you click on this here, it says if this condition is red right this coordinates um this location on your screen equals red then it's going to tell it to uh here we go it's going to delay it and it's going to tell it to go to Encoco. so this is this here when i click on this where to jump to it goes to a label name and there's a label in this macro called Encoco. and you're going to see this label right here label name it's called and coco okay so um this if statement again it's a condition for example something real world if you open the fridge it usually means you're going to grab something from it right that's what i expect i open fridge i'm going to grab something i'm going to look i'm going to grab and depending on what i grab is depending on what i do afterwards if I don't open the fridge, either I'm going to go hungry or I'm going to go uh, out to eat or who knows, right? So we call those else statements. If you do this, then go ahead, open the fridge and enjoy else go out to eat, you know? So that's, uh, um, I guess, the simplest way I, I figured out uh, how to explain this okay so in here there's elf uh else statement else statement uh, let me show you if you go to insert you go to if conditional statements that's what we we're talking about else statements okay make sure also at your if you do an if statement that you have a end if statement involved in there okay so let's see how this works but first we have to make sure that my bag is full. oh my gosh Let's go put a glitter here. Let's get in these wonderful, beautiful circles. And I should build, fill that bag up in seconds. Okay. One of the things that if you're going to build a bag, uh, fill check macro uh, on your macro and you want to test it out, uh, you want to test it out in both conditions, full and not full. So we're going to see that and you're going to see some things up to do and not to do all right oh we're good now because when we come over here it's going to be a nice bright red okay so now that we have that i'm going to minimize this a little bit here so we can see exactly what we're doing okay cool all right let's go to pixel equals so this is looking for a specific um section in the screen okay and it's looking for this color how do we do this? We Well, um, if this doesn't work, if you go over here, your bag is full and this is false, then you need to fix that, right? You need to calibrate it. So I go to here, capture. Now, this is the tricky part. You got to come over here. See, my mouse wants to. You have to come over here and you have to move it. Okay, bam, right there. From there, I hit F2. See, it's not the right color that I want, but... You know so that will give false so now we're gonna have to capture we're trying to get that bright red so you gotta just like tap your mouse 
Let it sit there it is. Bam. Sometimes after that, this this is the number that you want. Okay. Um. Anyways, these we don't mess with. We just leave them the way it is. Okay. Then you test your statement. Bam. True. What it's looking for is where you clicked here is looking for that red. And that spot, um, every time your bag is full, that spot would always be that color. Okay, I know you saw a lot of other colors, but that's just all the colors that are in here by pixels. Um, but your, um, your macro will pick that color. Now, if I come into the field, which I just did and I test it, it should be false. Okay, um, if you want to see it. Uh, nah, maybe not this field. Let's go. I'm not sure how big my bag is for like a field like dandy. Oh, still big. Maybe my spider. Well, I'm gonna give you a spider. Ah, okay. Spider works. I can really be in any field. See, I can move around. It's gonna go. I can actually take that pixel. If that works for me, you could actually copy and paste this, you know. Uh, hold shift down, bam, 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 all the way to the end of copy and paste it into your different macros. Um, here, I already did it for different resolution. So actually, I don't even have to modify my macros. Um, I don't really use 4K monitors or anything special. It's usually, uh, I think the max is what I have now is the 1080. Everything else goes lower, but, you know, I went ahead and you can see that the coordinates are different but that color is the same again coordinate is different so it should, oh well it's here 10 where is that 10 28 47 so yeah it's still in this area okay cool that was interesting um anyways cancel so now i told you that there was another way uh and this is a very popular way okay but we oops no I click on the wrong thing. Hold on. Not you. Uh, okay. Bad full bag image. Okay. Which is this one. Okay. So how does this one work? All right. This one works slightly different. You're going to capture. You're going to capture a piece in that red. Make sure the numbers are not moving or anything else like that. Okay. Um, and then after you capture... Uh, let me explain something right here. Similarity coefficient. Okay, you could raise this up, but what, what it's saying is that it's looking for something similar to this. So if there is something that changes, uh, and I'm going to give an example of that right here. So you see this word pollen. Uh, if I was to highlight pollen, see how it looks different now? You have this here, right? So when you change that coefficient, which usually I think 4550 is is usually what works. When you change that, it doesn't care that the background changed a little bit. It will see the word pollen and do whatever you tell the macro to do. So that's what um, usually do. Usually what happens is nighttime will come or you move to different places like I'm moving over here. So the background changes a little bit. But this bright red, you don't have to worry about it. Just keep it uh, and you can keep it at zero. If you want to feel more comfortable, you could raise it. But there is something definitely that you want to do in this image. Do not click on this. Okay. Uh, I was doing some testing. And if you do search the whole screen, you know what? It could pick up the red from here. It could pick up the red when your gag bag gets full. It could pick up red if, if there's red uh, in, in the field, right? Okay. So, um, you know, what? my bag is too full to do that. And I want to keep my bag full for this video. So you can test it out if you want to, but you definitely, um, don't want to do search whole screen. So what do you want to do? Capture. Okay. You go over here. You could click right in that red and you can just tell it, Hey, this is a, you know, this is, ah, it doesn't even have to be that big, right? But what you wanted to do, say, hey, this is the section I want to, you to capture. When you do that, test it, okay? Uh, again, I'm going to go, I don't know if I even have a field that will beat that, I think. 
right here. So now I will come over here. Boom, test it. It's false. Okay, so if I want to do it again, come over here. All right, and you could test it again. True. Sweet. Again, some of them you could do the whole screen, but on this one, you want to always search the specific region. I like to make my numbers even, so I will change this to 100, 25, 215, 25. Call it a day. That's just me. Um, you don't have to do that. Okay. Um, I did want to show you guys one from scratch. Yeah, because I don't want to make any changes. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Coco. I'm going to build one from scratch because maybe that's your question. You built this wonderful macro. You got it to work. And then you wanted to add back check. There goes my Discord, folks. Okay, B Swarm Simulator leak. Uh, okay, something's gonna be very fixed in version four one four. Okay, so you come over here, you go to insert, you go to if conditional statement. This is where you're gonna find it in if, and here's your if pixel color equals, and you have your if image file statement. Okay. Remember those are the two options that we're going over here. Those are the two options for your back check. Okay, I haven't really messed or played with anything else. Um, some people just do one or the other. Um, as I was learning macros, I did both. Now I just copy and paste. Okay, for me is <coughs> excuse me. For me, it's just a a little bit on the redundant side. Okay, so come over here. All right, I created that. So now you see the here that says if image uh, so I'm gonna tell it if image is red bang so it doesn't really matter just have to get it uh, specific region capture I'm not gonna worry about coefficients or anything else like that but I do want to make sure I get this nice beautiful red bar I'm gonna test it cuz maybe I, I messed up on getting the red or whatever sweet it works uh, again, uh, I'm going to test it over here. Sweet. Bow uh, false. Awesome. So now I know that, um, you know, that statement works. And uh, so what do we want it to do? Well, you can make it do a lot of different things, but for this case, we want to make sure that it's going to check my bag and then we're going to test it in a moment. So go ahead and um, if you notice, you're going to see a lot of delays. Okay, so let's add a delay. Uh, sometimes computers are not as fast as things that we do. The macros are just going to run, 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 run. All hardcore and sometimes your computer don't want to go in there. Um, so delay if it sees the image. I want to go to statement and since there's already a label created here if not I have to go create the label well because I know that there's a label created here already and you will know because you have a drop-down box ban uh, click that and then what did I tell you that when you're done go back to your if conditional statement and end if statement okay now this is going to go check the bag and finish. Okay. So let's do this. What do we want to do? Okay. If you do not find, so this is where you can play around a little bit. You know, it could be creative. You can do whatever you want. Anyway, uh, it is your macro. Just remember that it is your macro. Do whatever you want. Um, I'm just teaching some of the basic stuff. So if it does not find that image, right? Else, we're gonna do a else statement because I want you guys to see this. And what do I want this? Now that I have this else statement and I need to put it right here because I can't have it after my end if. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, what do I want it to do? I'm gonna have it first, I'm gonna have a delay. As always. And then I'm going to have it to interesting. That way we can actually see it in action. 
we're gonna go ahead and enter a keyboard command okay it's going to press I have an idea d5 okay so d5 um, is like pressing the numbers on your keyboard one two three four five six seven to activate these so d5 so it's going to make those circles and what is going to happen is that d5 should drop a gumdrop so all we're doing is just i'm just showing you an else statement so as, in other words um as it runs around and it doesn't uh it doesn't find this image it should load up the field with gumdrops sweet uh, nope, I'm not going to save because we're testing here. No need to save to run these. Okay, um, uh, let's play it. Let's see what happens, and I'll just walk you through the macro, what the macro is doing little by little. Um, so, macro resets your player, puts it back into hive, hive slot. It goes ahead. Um, usually, if he's in the wrong direction, there's a, the, the thing on the bottom of the screen and he goes on the right right there is zoomed out right now it's going d uh jump space right um it's still pressing d now it's jumping now it's gonna hit w jump continue to ju w jump two jumps w all the way up to there bam a d1 and here's your circles so remember after a moment it should uh, do gumdrops when this uh, before it repeats again. Oh, and we got Windy B. Don't worry, I'm not worried about it. Boom, there's your gumdrops. There's repeat one. Okay, yep, killed Windy at the same time. Hey, maybe I'll pick one of those proper tokens that I could uh, collect all that stuff. I'm not gonna, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, oh, look, my bag is full. Uh, almost full. We have to wait till the uh, there goes another gumdrop. So it will not stop because those letters, when it's there, is actually changing the color of your backpack each and every single moment. So it will, boom, reset when it's when it sees that it's fully, fully red. And I hope you enjoyed this video. But pretty much that is how you do a bag fill check. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Take care.